If you can't tell just by looking at it, the Union Pacific Big Boy is one of the largest steam locomotives in the world. It weighs 772,000 pounds when empty and 1.18 million pounds when fully loaded with coal and water. That's 590 tons. Imagine a seven-ton African elephant. It would take the combined weight of 84 elephants to match the weight of a fully loaded big boy. Measuring 132 feet 9 and 7 eighths inches long, the big boy is almost half a football field long. Why would a railroad need such a big locomotive? Well, that has to do with the Wasatch Mountains in eastern Utah. The Union Pacific Railroad mainline between Cheyenne, Wyoming and Ogden, Utah covers some tough territory. Example, between Ogden and Emory, Utah alone, a distance of just 55 miles, the track elevation rises 1,900 feet. That's a pretty steep slope and it causes trains to struggle. With World War II beginning in Europe in 1939, even more freight would need to be hauled. The Union Pacific needed a locomotive that could pull a 3,600-ton train through the Wasatch Mountains unassisted. Union Pacific ordered a total of 25 big boys to meet this need. Each cost a little over $265,000. Number 4017 was manufactured in 1941 and ran until 1959. It logged 1,052,000 miles during its 18 years of service. The Big Boy kind of got its name by accident. The Union Pacific planned to call them the Wasatch after the mountains they traveled over. A machinist at the American Locomotive Company, where the locomotive was built, chalked the word Big Boy on the smoke box door. Workers and newspapers started to use the name and, well, it just stuck. Because the big boy is so big, the designers needed to figure out how to get it around sharp curves. That's where articulation comes in. They attached two separate engines to one boiler so both engines could turn independently of each other in order to pivot around curves. Have you noticed the rows of bumps along the boiler? Those are stay bolts. They keep the sheets of the firebox in position. The boiler is pressurized to 300 pounds per square inch. The stay bolts keep the firebox from collapsing under this pressure. The big boy was tested at speeds up to 80 miles an hour, but railroad rules only allowed it to travel at a top speed of 55 miles per hour. At this speed, it took a mile to a mile and a half for the big boy and its train to come to a full stop after the engineer applied the brakes. That's a long distance. Want to know a secret? The tender, or coal car, right behind the locomotive isn't the original one that was built with number 4017. When a locomotive needed major service, it was separated from its tender. They each went to a different shop to be worked on. Maintenance on the tender usually took less time. When the tender was ready, it was attached to whichever locomotive needed it. If you look at the small builder's plate on the right rear side of the tender, you will see tender identification 25-C-404. This tender originally belonged to Big Boy number 4023. Of the 25 Big Boys built, only eight are still in existence. Believe it or not, there were plans to build an even bigger Big Boy but after World War II ended in 1945, the idea got dropped and the Union Pacific continued its conversion to diesel power. Big Boy number 4017 was donated to the National Railroad Museum in 1961.